let's consider some questions here. In the 2023 uh, jump pass question, that is uh, mathematics pass questions, you can follow. Here you have question number one. You have to simplify. Simplify. Two, three, four times two, three. That's 23 base 4. Then, look at this. You have to simplify. Or, say, what you have here is 2, 3, uh, 2, 1, 3, base, base 4. Base 4. Then you have 2, 3, base 4. So you carry out, you carry it out. Now, here is 3 times 3 is 9. Then, how many times 4 goes in 9? That's 2 times. They mean that what? They mean that 1. So that's how you're going to do it. Then, 3 times 1, that's 3, plus 2, 4, uh, plus 2, that's 5. How many times? 4 goes in 5, 1 time. So you remain, uh, remain that one. Then three multiplied by two is what? That's six. Then six plus one. What are you going to have? Six plus one. You have seven. So four in seven is what? One. Remain that what? Three. So this one you put it here. This base four. Then you go to the second one. Two times three is six. So two. 4 in 6 is 1. Remember what? 2. So, you have it like that. Again, 2 times, uh, you have 2. So, 2 plus the remainder to uh, 2 plus 1. Because this multiply this is 6. That's 1, go 1. Uh, that's remain, remain 2. So, this one. You add it to that, that will be 3. So you have 3. Then 2 times 2 is what? 4. Then 4 in 4. That is 1. Remember what? 0. Then you add this one as this. Remember 4. So uh, base 4. Then you add together. You add it together from this 4 level. So add this, you have 1. Add this, you have three. This is six. Again, four in six. Four in six is what? Four in six, you will have one. Remember what? Two. So you have one here. So one plus one is two. Then one here. So you have this one base four. That's the answer. So your answer there is C. C. So that is it. If you want to multiply, you multiply like that. Now, again, see, in a class of 40 students, thirty two offer mathematics. Twenty-four offer pieces, and four offer nine mathematics. No pieces. How many students offer both 
subject. Look, this is set. What you have is the number of students. Here you have the number of students that offer all subjects. That's your bar set. You have them to be 40 students. The number of students that offer mathematics. Number of them that offer math, they 32 students. Then number of them that offer pieces. That's 24. Then those that offer neither of them, that's number of students that offer neither P union, M union P prime. That's it. That's how you express it. M union. Those that are not in despair. So they are what? Four. So you have them like that. Now, you have seen them like this. Just interpret this question like this. Number of, number of, number of pieces, math, and the like. Then, you can use paint diagram. Here you have this. So, math and pieces. Those that offer both. So you can uh, you can represent them like this. M intersection P is X. So a student offer both subjects. So you start from here. Number of them that offer both subjects is X. Those that offer no four, you put them here. What about those that offer mathematics? Those that offer mathematics are 32. Then, here, all this place is 32. So, if you want to get mathematics only, it will be 32 minus x. That's mathematics only. What about pieces only? You have it here. That's number of them that study in pieces, 24 minus x. So, you have a center like that. Then, the universal set. Is 40 that is everything in the paint diagram equal to 40. So you have 32 minus x plus x plus 24 minus x plus 4 equal to 40. Then add it together this plus this that's 56 plus this that's 60 minus x plus x. This one will give you zero minus this equals to 40. That is x minus a is zero. Then minus this x. So if you if you rearrange it, you will have 60 minus 40 equal to x, x equal to 20. So 20 students offer both subjects. So that is it. 20 students offer both subjects. So your option there is a. That's A. Now, here you have a Find one over zero point zero six divided by one over zero point zero four two, all into brackets raised to power one. You have to you have to simplify. You have to simplify. Now, you want to simplify this. What you simply do is you can do it in any, any how you, you decide. If you like, you can see this one, or you can 
uh, the, the denominator, you can find the uh, you, you can find you can change this one to fraction. That is, this one can give you one over six over hundred. Look how you have this. You have this one two. So you simply put two zero after uh, after the dot one two. So you have it like this divided by the same thing you are going to do. Here. So what do you have here? You have is there, you have this one. What what number is there? Forty two. So you see this one two three. So you have one thousand. So three after you put one here. Three number after after that. Then what you simply do here is this. This is reciprocal. You have this one as reciprocal of this. So here you can add 100 over 6 divided by 1000 over 42. So reciprocal means just inverse or inverse of this, just change it as that this, is, this, this one is reciprocal of this. That is, you have 1 divided by 6 over 100. So you will have 1 times 100 over 6. So that will be there. Then here you have 100 over 6 times 42 over 1000. So this will cancel this. 6 here 1, 6 here 7. That's 7 over 10. So that is your answer. 7 over 10. Okay, here you have 7 over 10. Remember, the, all this one carry what? Raised to power minus 1, raised to power minus 1. So, this one is equally reciprocal. You simply mean 10 over 7. That is indices. If you have a raised to power 1, if you have a raised to power 1, you can express it like this. 1 over a. So, you have it like this. So here you can have 1 over 7 over 10. So this one will give you what? 1 divided by 7 over 10. So you have this 10 over 7. So this is it. So convert it to fraction. What, what is it? 10 divided by 7. So what will be the answer? Ten divided by seven. That's one point four two eight approximately. So uh, one that's nine. So to two decimal place is going to be what one point two three. Uh, the four three. So the answer there is what? That's uh, a. The answer there is a. So that's it. Now that's that. Now look here. Here again. A woman buy 70 oranges for a woman buy 270 oranges for 1,008 ordinary and sell at 5. For fourteen, era. what is a profit? Look, there what is a profit? Now, uh, you have a to be two one six. You have b to be 
1620 naira c you have 613 naira d you have 316 naira now how are you going to do it a woman buy 270 oranges for 1800 1800 and sell at five for 40 naira. What you are simply going to do is that this divided by how many five can you see in 270? This is 270 divided by five. So five in 25 is five. So the mean that two five in 24. So you will have 54 oranges. So you have 54 five here. Then one five is 40 naira. So multiply this one by 40. So you will have zero zero. 16. So you have 20, that will be 21. That's 0, 6, 1, 2. So that's the amount he says. So what is the profit? Profit is selling price minus cost price. Who is equal to this selling price? 2,000 minus cost price, 1,800. So you will have 1, 0, uh, 1,800. 0, 6. So, if you bring this one here, you will have 11. 11 minus this, that's 360. So, the profit is 360 error, which is D. So, that's it. That is there. Now, Look at this. You have to simplify this. One minus bracket this times five over four plus five over three over five. So you have to simplify. Here is simplify nine eight minus fifty divided by thirty two. So a a is three, b is one, c is half, and d is one over four. Now look, this is so. You think fast. The no, two number. Uh, what are the number that can you break this one down? Two multiply by something, or the number multiply by under will give you 90, uh, 98. This is what? You have it like this. <clears throat> two times 49. Two times 49 will give you. Oh, 49 is a perfect square. Think of a perfect square number. So you have this one also. The perfect square number here is 25. That's 2 times 25 all over. The perfect square number here is 16. So 16 times 2. So you have it like that. So again, the square root of 49 is 7. You have 7 root 2. The square root of this one is what? 5 root 2. The square root of this one is what? 4 root 2. So that what to have. Then 7 minus 5, that's 2, root 2, divided by 4, root 2. So you have to answer. This cancel this. 2 year 1, 2 year 2. So your answer is what? Half. So the answer here is C. That's half. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the class. Help to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're expecting another one. God bless you.